What's up everybody? Welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith and today we're going to be looking at some of the cheapest stuff that you can buy on Alakazam. So this video is based around some of the cheapest things that you can buy on Alakazam Magic and see how good they are. So we'll go through the list and we'll talk about prices and what they are and that sort of thing. And then with some of them I'll probably just go through performance and then obviously go through and say how good they are or how not good they are. Up first was the anti-gravity bottle cap which was 66 pence which is absolute bargain. I can't perform this at the minute because I'm in the car and don't have a bottle and stuff but it's a really good effect so for 66 pence it's really good works really well on social media and stuff like that on social media videos and viral videos like tiktok and things like that so yeah that's one bargain to start off with next up we have these chameleon back playing cards by vincenzo di fata so essentially with this trick you are showing four blue playing cards which then turn into red which then change into different color backs so yeah and this one was two pound 19. so the the cards themselves are on bicycle stock and the bicycle cards so really good quality as you expect from bicycle bicycle so in my pack that i got i got four of the same card obviously the backs are different colors but the front are four of the same in the instructions it says there should be four different ones so it's the same value but different suits where i had the same suits and same values so the trick doesn't seem to look as impressive so for example you had all four tens of the different pips in mine is the two of hearts so all of the cards are two of hearts rather than them sort of switching around and changing to different tens and stuff so that's the only thing i found with this i don't know if it's just a one-off or they're all the same and the instructions are different now to how the products manufacture it but who knows up next is clear penetration by mr magic and this is a, a staple in all of the magic tricks and um sort of magic kits that you get so you have a, a frame here you put a playing card in put something through it feels quite heavy compared to some of the ones that i've had in the past but we'll give us a look this is a trick with a plastic frame as you can see here this is a pencil and it's real plastic so I'm going to take this playing card here, just slot it in, if I can't. It's a little bit tough at sometimes, but as you can see here, there's the two diamonds in the case, and obviously on the other side as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a pencil, and I'll just move that up. As you can see there, that pencil has penetrated right through that plastic case into the playing card. I'll take that all of the way out. And you can see there's a hole in there. So now what we can do is we take the playing card out. You see it's got the hole in, but then when you take the pencil, there's no holes in the playing card in the uh, in the case. So this is clear penetration. This is a super easy, super effective, and super visual magic trick that you can keep around and take any walk around. It's very well built and it's quite combustible. Obviously, this plastic here, I've only been using it a couple of times. You can see it's sort of scratched already, so I assume over time that'll get even more scratched. But it doesn't really make much difference because you'll still be able to see through it. You'll still be able to see that it's plastic and that it's a solid thing. And again, this can be given out to be examined before and after, and no one will be able to find anything or figure out how the trick was done. Um, um, you can use any playing cards at all with it. You don't have to use the one supplied because obviously once you've used it, then there's a hole through it, so you can't really do it again. All you have to do is just put the playing card into it, put the pencil through, and that's it. The pencil can be swapped out for a normal pencil, it can be a pen, could be a Sharpie possibly, depending on the circumference. If you get roughly the same width as this, then you should be able to use anything at all. So if you don't have this with you or anything like that, you could use that. So great little trick, something to put in the repertoire, and like I said, it should last for quite a while, so heads up for that another classic in beginners magic and magic kits is the finger chopper and this one is a yellow one with the black bottoms so basically you put your finger through pull the blade down and as if by magic your fingers not chopped so we'll have a look at this and this was three pound 90. so this here is a finger chopper as you can see there's a blade that goes through the two holes like so now what happens is if i put my finger in like this and just put the blade there and I give it a quick hit the blade goes directly through the finger, just like magic. So that was a little quick performance of this, and it's it's an okay gimmick. So when I got this out of the box, I needed to move it a couple of times like this because um, it was quite stiff. So I don't know if it was just when it was all put together, it was it hadn't been used, so it needs sort of used essentially, just so it goes up and down. It seems okay built. Um, I can see it probably is breaking after a fair amount of uses. I, I can't imagine it breaking straight away, but I think um, over time when you do it, if you're using it, then uh, it will end up breaking eventually because of um, just the, the way it was manufactured. I had an issue with 
certain part popping out so I had to put that back in so if you're doing that performance and you sort of push it down that's popped out then that may snap off but who knows but for the price it's not too bad and like I said it's sort of stable in any magic kit that comes with a finger chopper so up next we have the imp bottle by Uday and uh, that was £1.75 and essentially this is a little trick so you put the bottle down and it lies on its side when you give it to the spectator they give it a try and they can't do it at all it'll just stay on the top so yeah not bad for £1.75 this is a fun magic trick you can do with your friends so you take the bottle and you turn it over like that and you can see the bottle's laid down so you hand them the bottle you say there you go take that bottle then they do it and they try to push it down but the bottle will never stay down on a flat surface that bottle will always go straight back up how amazing so this is the imp bottle even though it looks like a poker ball it's an imp bottle so essentially like i've shown in the uh, performance you can do this as a prank or a trick or whatever you want when you take the imp bottle and put it on a flat surface you can actually make it sit on the side but when you give it to the spectator they cannot do that it always jumps back up obviously on a flat surface it'll jump straight back up but with the hand it's struggling a bit it's a nice little gimmick something small to keep in your pocket now there is something which you may lose but i think if you keep it in a packet or a wallet or something like that then it'll be fine and you'll be able to perform this whenever wherever and it'll always get good responses quality is well made as well and uh yeah, can't really fold it, especially for the price. Up next is this uh, micro colouring book, which is circus theme, and it's by UD again. This was £2.70, and the premise behind this is a colouring box, so you can show it as um, the, the drawings are not coloured in, and then when you flick through again, they're actually coloured in. So yeah, really good for that cheap price. I'll let you in on a little secret. I love the circus. That's why I got the circus colouring book. But when I got the, the book home and I opened it up, there was absolutely nothing in. As you can see, all the pages were blank. Now, what I had to do was I had to, um, to phone up the circus hotline and they said, oh, all you have to do is do a, a big grand entrance and play the circus music. And then when I did that, all of the drawings, they appeared on the book, which was quite amazing. So all I had to do now was just to take the book, color it in, and then over time, I colored in all the images. And this is the final images that you can see here. And that's the ones that I colored in. How good? So this is a circus colouring book, and as you can see, there's the front of it, and then there's the back of it. You can tell because it's got the uh, elephants behind on there. Again, it's just a nice little effect, and if you have the appearing or disappearing crayons, you can use that effect with this, which is one of the reasons why I was hoping to get it as well. So I could do some tricks with the, the pencils, colouring in, crayons, whatever you want to call them, and this. I have a, a larger book similar, but I just want a smaller one so I can chuck it in a bag and if I'm going to like a kid's party or whatever, then I can do that. Very easy to do. Um, the quality, as you can see here on the bottom, if it'll focus, the, the paper's a little bit ripped on the front cover for some reason on mine, and there was a bit of uh, colour missing here. When you're scrolling through the book, it's, it's sort of messed up with the the sides of the book a bit when you're looking through the book and showing it off the uh, the sides may go a little bit frayed so i don't know how long it'll last but for the price it is then i think it's an okay buy up next is a trick by royal magic and it was three pounds seven pence and this is oddball and essentially what you do is you get some two bits of rope you put them through the ball and you put it in a little plastic box put it in the spectator's hand you pull the string and the string comes through the ball and just magically appears out of there so another one that i can't really do performs for is oddball because i need someone else to hold on to the box because when you pull the strings the strings come apart obviously the box drops because the spectator is normally holding it it's good quality the the ball will last a long time and the, the plastic case will and the thread but if the thread sort of starts to fray or starts to whatever else like weather or go a different color then it should be easy enough to get some similar thread to use it's thicker than the thread but thinner than the shoelace but it should be easy enough to get so yeah so this is another one by royal magic and this is the rattling ones and it was three pound seven so essentially you have three ones here and they rattle and the spectator doesn't know which one is rattling now this is a strange one i have these three ones and when you take them give them a shake they all make a noise like so and that's the three of them now however when you take all three of them and put them in one hand like this you shake them and they don't make any noise at all i don't get it 
So this is the rattling ones, and generally with this you need a spectator and a table or someone spectator at hands. So you get them to pick up a wand and you shake it, and it'll either make a noise or not make a noise depending on which you, you want to do it. So you can say, pick them all up, shake them all, they all make a noise, and then when the spectator picks them up, it doesn't make a noise. Or you can do it so the spectator can choose one, and then you can decide whether that'll make a noise or not make a noise. I said easy to perform, however, I've had to do it on my own because I didn't have the space for the table able to pick up certain ones and do this so I just knocked up together that presentation of saying you take them all they all make a noise but then when you shake them together they don't make a noise so yeah they're uh, decently well built as well just they uh, bits of plastic and put together and obviously the gimmick is uh, well built as well so it should last for quite a while up next is one that was £1.87 and another one by Royal Magic and this is Visascape so this here is um, a black strip is inserted into the case and secured with the fastener the attention is now called to the fact that it's impossible to remove the strip without removing the fastener and at command the magician does it so this trick is a little bit inspired by Harry Houdini and the escape artist so I've got these bits of cardboard as you can see here so I'll just push it through through and again right that's through and you see there the hole for the the black bit is in line with this now what we're going to do is take this pin here and uh, just like so we've got it secured now that is secured in so that can't go anywhere now with Harry Houdini he was able to go anywhere at all and with anything he could escape so we're going to try the same with this. So if we just give it a try. Just like so. The cardboard has penetrated the other cardboard. And as you can see, that pin is still in there. Magic. So this here is the Visascape. It's really easy to perform. You get with the uh, the two bits of cardboard and the pin, and that's all you need to perform it. You can read the instructions straight away, know how it's done, and then basically perform it as well. It is quite well made as well, but um, should anything happen to any of the parts, I suppose you could always redo them or replace them. But for the price it is, you may as well just buy another one. But I think it should last for a while. And last but not least, another staple with Magic Kits. This is the Zigzag card, and this is by Mr. Magic, and this was £3.46. So essentially is you've got this plastic frame here you put a card in the card you can magically move the middle bit and then you move it back and the card is still in one piece I'm going to try something impossible with this so i've got a playing card and a plastic frame as you can see here it's got all the holes in now if i move this playing card across this hole is now free now what i can do is i can take this playing card and split it in half and now this hole is free i'll push that playing card back and then if i take all of the playing card like so it's magic. So again, this is another staple in any magic kit that you get, the Zigzag Lady. Normally you get like a, a red version and it's quite smaller, but this one obviously you get your card, you put your card in, you push it across, your card goes all the way across, you can move the middle piece like so, move the middle piece back, and then you move the entire card, and you take the entire card out. And again, you can make up your own pattern with it, so you can have it to do whatever you want. It can be a case of, uh, this is generally what happens when uh, magicians perform with women and they have the zigzag lady, that's where it's come from. So a stage illusion is there. You get the lady, you chop them in half, their body goes over here, the head's here, the legs are here, you move them back, and then you take the lady and you can take her out and she's back together again. Whatever pattern you want. Again, super simple to do, super easy really good bargain. Hope you enjoyed the video. That was something a little bit different. This was um, 10 cheapest things that you could get from Alakazam. There are other cheaper things which you can get on the Alakazam website, but I wanted to get things that were magic tricks and something that I would possibly use in the future rather than just getting the cheapest things. You can get 10 Chinese coins for so much money, which is cheaper than this. I think it's like 60 odd pence, but then I don't do re any coin routines to justify that. If you're a coin magician, then that's another perfectly cheap thing that you could go buy from the website and again all of these are aimed at beginners i think the chameleon back cards need a bit more skill and sleight of hand essentially to do but uh I think over time you should be able to pick them up and should be able to do it. So again, all these products are cheap and for 20 to 30 pounds you can get 10 effects which you can have in your close-up bag that you can carry around with you and you can perform them for people and it only costs 30 pound maximum which is fantastic. 
So if you had any favorites, let us know in the comments. And if there's anything that you want to pick up or you've picked up or something which you still have in your repertoire now after picking it up from a certain magic kit or whatever, let me know in the comments as well. If you want other videos like this where I go over cheap things that you can buy on different websites and see how good they are, see if you can use them performances and stuff like that, magic tricks, then let me know in the comments and I'll do some more videos of that. I do have some other things planned, but uh, we'll see how that goes. And yeah, until next time. See ya.